Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So last episode we had the Night Gaunts move down to defend an outpost in the south here, kind of on the southern lake. Um, we had a couple of clan units moving in, so we moved down there to defend it and we were able to fend them off without a problem. But today, we're going to go over and have a look at the Dragon's Rejects. Now, there's a base in the north, and it's currently unoccupied, so we're going to move over there and check out uh, what's going on. We have spotted an unknown amount of units moving towards that base, so we're just going to interdict them first before we move in and take the base. Okay, so we're just going to move the Dragon's Rejects forward here, see who we encounter. Hopefully, we can take them out relatively quickly. Uh, I don't expect these forces to be too difficult. We have pretty much eliminated the Eastern Warlords. Uh, main force in the south, the allied clan units. So we're going to just move forward now. Our lance is a little bigger than it was before. Uh, we're, we actually have the ability to drop one extra unit now. I went ahead and um, sold a lot of stuff for both the Night Gaunts and the Dragons Rejects to get that money so we can drop one extra unit uh, or at least have one extra unit on the battlefield. So now we've got five mechs and two vehicles here. So we're going to push forward and find out what we're up against. Looks like there's a hunchback here, an enforcer something or other and that was going to be our original drop sound all right so with the helopolis is back and ready to go for this battle now um i took and i apologize I, I can't remember who it was that said it um that i should probably put some srm ammo into the helopolis for a close range fights just in case and i agree i just didn't have the the weight originally but um once the helopolis came back i was able to do a couple things with it one i put the industrial armor into it so we're not low on actual hit points um, then I put the because um, as you can see we got like 1345 hit points which is awesome uh, then I was able to put um, a standard fusion engine into it which gave us a couple of tons and then I went ahead and put a half ton of regular LRM ammo in and I think it was a half ton of or it might have been a full ton of SRM tandem in uh, in I can't remember what it was. It was really all we had for the ATM. So we have multiple fire modes for that thing now. Um, and I think that was all. I rejigged some of the stuff in its head too. So we have the uh, I think it's the ballistic fire control system for it. So I'm hoping that really helps out with it. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but let's get into battle here. Uh, once again, Icehouse is going to be running this. He, the Clint was his mech, but I think the Clint is going to be pulled out of service for now. So we're going to let him run the Holopolis here. So, um, yeah, do we want to engage from the side or from the front? From the side, probably. Okay, let's get the Firestarter and the Wolfhound down this side, I think. Piece of cake. And this guy is what? Whitworth. All right. Uh, it's interesting that we couldn't see what was on it, but... Two hits, even with 10%. That's awesome. What do you need? Um, I need you to get forward here. Although we're not going to engage. We're just going to move forward as far as we can go. I'm going to hold off until I see what they, they're planning on doing here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get up here in the trees. Yep. We can't fire, so we might as well just get in the trees over here. Alright. Now I did keep the... Um oh, you're going to run, are you? I did keep the uh, MRM incendiary ammo on the Helopolis. That ATM-6 is really just a backup weapon. It's not really meant to, to do anything. The LRM chaff is a good is a good uh, thing to have on there. We ha also had like a half ton of EMP ammo. I wasn't really interested in putting that on. I'm not really... I know it, it creates... Uh, reduces sensors by two, but... Aye, aye. I'm just finding that whenever we use it, it just doesn't seem to be doing anything. I know it is, but it just doesn't feel like it is. So I just kind of left it off.
Okay, who's next? Tiger Tail. Commander. Let's keep you here. Double time. Let's go. With the bushwhacker. What's this guy? Is that a Vulcan? Lancelot. Alright. Receiving you. I want you to stay with the uh with the Hetzer. What can I do for you? Well, we certainly have the range. Look at this thing. It's a freaking beast. Okay, who has it? Who's... You've moved already. We go direct fire mode. It's out of range. Alright, well... Let's switch this to LRM. We got LRM chaff, and we got... Is that it? I thought I put... Uh, Oh, LRM. Here we go. Standard. Yeah, there's some standard ammo in there, too. Alright, firing. Uh-huh. Eh. Get you next time. Let's hope so. We need to get fast cam ammo. Alright, we want to push this, uh... There we go. This Whitworth here. I want him out of here. You fall back to your lines. Group up so we can drop some arty on you guys. Ooh, medium X-Pulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Only well, took 22, though, so... I wonder if it's an advanced Whitworth. Orders. Same thing. Let's get over here. Can we get a good clear shot of this side? We can't. That's fine. These guys need to stay together anyway. And it's just fire. Nice. Wonder if he's got spall liner or something on him. Got two copters back there, okay. Yeah. Down All in right. here. Full speed. I don't want to shoot until we get uh get to see the whites Commander. of their eyes. Well with that guy anyway. Okay, let's get over here. Here we go. Let's show this enforcer the what for here. Yeah, baby. Strip some of that armor off him. That's all you got. He's gonna show his face, is he? I wonder there if he's in uh now the AC-20 won't get a ch chance to shoot at him. You could though, but... Okay, if we go here, it's only the copters that can see you. Alright. Almost in strike distance. We should be able to unleash hell onto this Whitworth next turn. Is that the Lurm back? I guess it is. We've been getting lucky with these Hunchbacks. The last thing I want is the Ultra 20 version. Or the uh, the Clan version with two Ultra 20s. That would, that would suck really bad. We're not going to get a chance to use the AC-20 this turn, but we definitely will next turn. It almost seems a waste of that, the Holopolis, the 75-tonner, 
just to be like plodding along in the background here, but actually having that onboard artillery is really nice. Okay, get down to here. Copy that. Should be able to strike that Whitworth next turn. Waiting on you, Commander. Just keep walking it. No sweat. Uh, what do we got here? 37 with the sniper. That's actually pretty darn good. I think that indirect is actually helping. 28, 37 with, the sni with that on that guy. We're not in flak mode, so I don't know what we would chance to hit these guys would be. All right, let's go after the enforcer. Um, yeah, let's drop some chaff on him. Sure. Roger that. Firing on target. Ooh, nice hit. Yeah, that sniper is going to like change things significantly. If it can hit, it's going to be crazy. So this is a two skull mission, just in case you're wondering what the ranking is. We're ranked at two, and they're ranked at two. But it's still 13 to 7, so they've almost got 2 to 1 odds. Luzar, eh? We've been seeing these guys an awful lot. Okay. That went off into the middle of next week. Right here. Alright, Golden Retriever. We are not in striking range of this Whitworth, and I was hoping we would be. Well, do we shake it up? I guess we do. We adapt, overcome. Yeah, he's like partially hidden behind there. Oh well. Enforce is a good target though. Um, oh, do I want to use the rockets early? I think so. If we can pull out the, if we can take out the enforcer early, we should probably try and do that. Okay, tags on. A lot more instability. Nice. He goes on what? Eleven. Okay. That's going to give us an opportunity to do a lot of damage before he's able to do anything. Now this guy's coming out to play. Mostly missed. Mostly. Standing by. This is still going to be an enforcer strike, I think. Like I said, we want to pull that guy down early. So let's just go right after this guy. Copy that. Reporting. Have a seat, buddy. You deserve a rest. There you go. 25 damage. Ooh. So that hunchback barely moves, so that's the Holopolis' next target. Yep. I need you on this, uh, Whitworth, please. Copy that. Thank you. Usually the Whitworths run hot, but he is in water now, so it's not like we can do too much. I could go in Cindery, but I think Standard is probably the better bet. And let's just unload on him. Roger. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, interested to see what he's got on him. Because out of all the mechs, we couldn't really see what was happening with this guy. He doesn't have a lot of armor, though. Whitworths are only 40 tons, I think, yeah. so it's not like we're going to get a lot off this guy, but... Ooh. We are grouping up down here. I'm listening. But we'll deal with that in a minute. Roger that. Deal with that in a minute. Let's just shoot at this guy. Fire it all. Guess I'll give it to him then. There goes his arm. That there was a critical hit that was. He's not doing too well either. I might drop the Artie on him. Well, we got Tiger Tail still. I was gonna say we might drop the Artie on him, but oh, what's this guy? Phoenix Hawk Lamb. Ooh. Interesting. What's up, boss? I 
on the move. Full speed. All right, let's see if we can knock this guy down. Well, we're not going to knock him down, but we're going to hit him. Do a little bit of damage to him. No, okay. That's all right. We figure it out. Lancelot. Ooh, good shooting, man. Has he got a PPC in two larges? Um, we're in steady now. That's not good. What's up, boss? Affirmative. Well, since we can only hit the Whitworth. Sorry, buddy, but, uh... Wow, it's only 30%, huh? Fire. I thought that was going to hit. Failed to connect. I'm sure you all did, too. You were, like, looking at it. It's like, oh, she's going to hit. And it's like, you. oh, no, she's not. <laughs> She ain't hit. She ain't hit shit. We want to knock this guy down, or we could go after the hunchback. No, I think we go after this guy. Better chance to knock him down. Uh, I'm gonna switch up to standard LRM ammo. Special delivery. Okay, foot destroyed, hip destroyed. Not gonna go down. Critical hit. But he will go down next turn. Gonna push it, are you? You got balls, kid. It split. It split the trebuchet's hair too. <laughs> Looked like it went right through their uh, between their their shoulder their shoulder blade and their head. Okay, we still got these warriors now. Next turn, or the choppers, that is. What do we go on? Eighteen. And Rusty goes on seventeen. Really? All right. Well, at least the uh, fire starter and the um, wolfhound will be going early. We can get them in closer. I might use them to go after the choppers, because choppers are generally harder to hit. Is it what is this guy? He's like a Jenner seven A. Phoenix Hawk Lamb. So, who's our? We've got one, two, three. So their leader's got more than just the leader. There's got to be another. Uh, couple I think right one two three four five six seven eight nine oh maybe not wait they've only got nine right they should only have nine I guess this lamb is probably the leader yeah you better run right here mm-hmm Affirmative. Now, what's the chance on these guys? Pretty darn good. He's got lerms, though. This could be a kill. Let's go after the kill shot. Nope, face. not enough, but it is definitely a knockdown. I Have a seat, buddy. Love how that arm, the arm there is like sticking in the, in the mud right next to them. We need to get on this guy next, though. You know who to target. Damage is minor, Commander. You know who to target. Yeah. What can I do you for? Double time. Let's go. Let's deal with this guy here. Got it. Wasn't what I was hoping for. Nice. Oh, he bailed though. Can't get any better than that, I guess. That's some good parts left on the battlefield, that's for sure. We got, uh, who's next here? Rusty's next, I think. We're gonna get her in. We're gonna go after the Whitworth on the ground, I think. 
take a headshot on him. He's down to one health, so if we can if we can take the pilot out, that would be great. Gonna crank the machine guns up on that too. Maybe get lucky and get a hit on the head. Who's going next here? Oh, the cavalry, the chopper. Okay. That's all right. Where are you moving now? Huh? Where are you moving? You're not. Waiting for orders. Just get into here. All right, let's crank up the machine guns to max. Go after the head. Most likely the machine guns are going to jam, but I don't care. You got lucky? Nope. Solid connection on that one. He's still going, eh? All right. Oof. Good shooting, buddy. This damage is light. Yeah. All right, we need to get you in here. Get up to the front lines here. Just got two ballistic. And like no armor. Wow, we're so far back. Um, this guy's running super cool. They all are. You know what? Let's just see if we can take down this chopper. Switching to incendiary. Here it comes. Well, good damage. All right, Rada. There we go. We got a nice clean shot on that guy. You want to shoot me? Hey, you want to shoot me, buddy? Enjoy this. Firing on target. We got Artie coming on this guy, too. Ooh, shooting at the Hetzer, really? What can I do for you? You don't need to move, buddy. You're in like prime sitting position here. Sniper artillery, forty-three percent. Let's fire on the Lancelot. Time to die. Yeah, baby. Enjoy that. Yes, Commander. What do you think, Tiger? Can you get on him? No, you can't. Flames on the way, huh? We want to eat the flames? Probably. It's not ideal, but we're going to eat the flames. Yeah, a little bit of damage. 56 on this guy. 25 on the copter. Oh, he stripped a lot of armor off this guy. Well... See ya. Got Hope we can salvage that. You can go pick your car up in the middle of next week. Alright, Hussar's coming back. It's kind of an interesting design for a mech. Like the ER large laser for range. You know, and then some speed and some ECM and probing stuff. I'm sorry, are you a little angry at me? Hit, 
see what those copters are doing. It's an interesting idea. I mean, it'd be a nice hit and run Mac or a nice scouting Mac, but with the just single ER large in the CT, I don't know. I don't know if it's in the CT or the head, but I think it's the CT. So that guy's going on 16. We should be able to get a piece of that Lancelot before he goes. Yeah, Raider goes on 18. And we have everybody else, yeah, going on 16. So if we do an offensive push on that guy, it will push his initiative back by one. And then everybody else that's on 16 will go before him and we should be able to pull that Lancelot down. All right, Raider. Hey. Awaiting orders. Um. Let's stay at range. Moving to position. Get an OP on this guy. I'm gonna go up to the leg and just fire. Target locked. Yeah, so his initiative's dropped now. We get to go before him with everybody else. We'll clean his clock. At least we'll knock his ass into the ground. And I think it's probably going to be... Well, now that that guy's unstable, that's where the artillery's going. We'll put the artillery on the wasp. The copters will probably go after with the with uh, we'll go after them with the fire starter and the uh, wolfhound. Depending on how well we do with that Lancelot, we're gonna send Taskmaster against the Lancelot, and I think the AC coupled with the SRMs will be more than enough to knock his ass on the ground, and then we'll see what we can do after that. Come on, Chappas. Decide what you're gonna do. Yeah, back it up. Back it up. Yep. Um gonna move and get my stability back, but we're just gonna move up here on the shoreline. Let's give this guy the what for. Um Gonna switch back to standard ammo, I think, and just hammer him. Now we could go for an offensive push on the leg. Yeah, let's see if we can get that. Let's OP this guy's leg. Come on. No. Yep. Right there. Let's see what we can. That's actually not bad. Damn, not enough to knock his ass over though. Something I can do. Oof. Um There we go, that's better. On the move. You have to go out to the Lancelot. We gotta see if we can put his ass down. Just fire on him. I'm gonna use the incendiary rockets as well. Ooh, wait. Um Let's leave them off for now. <laughs> we hit the lamb. Oh, nice hit on that one. Nice hit. Commander. Guy's still standing. He's still Confirm. standing after all that fire. No, let's see if we can take this guy down. Fire Beautiful. You did. Who we got rusty. Yeah, Commander. Let's get inside the uh, LRMs from the hunchback. Get straight on this guy. Unload everything. everything I got. That should be enough to knock him down. Take that. Oh, that should be enough to make him bail out. That's even better.
They are losing guys left and right. The Jenner is re is uh, reevaluating his affiliations. Wait, who's that? Uh, minimal damage on that hit. Centurion A. So they do have more guys. Ready for orders. We hit the lamb in in like by accident. And it didn't um, say that my target has been uh, has been hit. So, Confirmed. ooh, that was close. Right up under his armpit. Reporting negative damage. Burned all the hairs off. And Wolfhound's still trying to do some stuff there, but got three of them. It's not bad. Waiting on you, Commander. What do you think, buddy? Um, 30%. 37%. We said we were going to shoot for this guy, so let's go for it. Affirmative. Nope. Way off. Ooh. I may need some more time in the simulator. Although we did uh, kill off the supporting infantry in the trees there. I wish you could do that though, like have supporting infantry, but they'd be like a static, like almost like a static bunker emplacement, and they'd have like super high difficulty to see, so you'd have to be fairly close to see them, and then you could just, like the defenders could put two or three of them uh, units scattered around the map, you know, like you could have them in trees and stuff. I love that. I love that um, yes, encounter we had in the city where they were in buildings and stuff. That was pretty awesome. I gotta say. But it'd be nice if we could have them on maps like this, you know? Oof, that's really low. That's really low too. I'm within their ECM range. We're gonna go against this guy, try and keep him unstable. We'll go. Wow, he's got good AMS. Concentrate your fire. Oh, bring it that's down. the one we want, okay. He goes on 16. So he's probably going now. We got Rusty still before that. So we're going to OP that one. We'll OP a shot from Rusty on him to knock his uh, his initiative down. And then we'll unload everybody on him. Hopefully we can knock his ass over. Rusty might end up being the MVP in this one. I know it's only a Galleon and hasn't really done a whole lot. But still, it's... Uh, it's proven it's worth. I'm kind of, it's, you know, medium laser and a couple of machine guns, and, the, you know, she's doing pretty good here. That was the uh, chopper. It might just have like an AC5 or an AC10 and a machine gun. It's not moving either. Standing by. Give this guy the what for. Give this guy the what for. We got lots of resolve. Let's, let's resolve to, to, to... We can't target the head. Let's go after the leg though. And firing. firing. Oh, nice hits. Hey, it was supposed to knock the initiative back and it didn't. Still going on 16. I guess the pilot must have resisted that. That's interesting. Well, not much we can do about it. Wow, really? Why are you jumping? What do you need? That was kind of shocking. This guy's got a fair bit of armor, so let's just open up on him. Maybe we can knock him down. Close. We dump a, uh, a load of MRMs into him. He should go down.
Okay. What's up, Commander? Do we want to go after the hunchback this time? Ah. Let's just see what our chances to hit are. Let's see if we can take this warrior out of the, out of the battle here. There we go. Nice. We got to attack those rockets on. Enemy vehicle eliminate. I was worried there for a second that uh, the shots weren't going to do anything. All right, well, let's get into here. I was going to go after the hunchback, but apparently not. We're running hot, but we'll stay in the water here. Shoot. Didn't want to do that, but whatever. Knock him over. Yep, there we go. Lost evasive, and he didn't take any damage. I hear ya. All right, these guys are close together. That's 28, 22, 30% in the Centurion, 50% in the Phoenix Hawk. Do I want to just shoot this guy? Actually, you know what? Let's um. Move forward a little bit. It. I don't think the ATMs will come into play here at this range, will they? Oh, yeah, they will. We want to just go with ATMs, maybe? Uh, sure. Let's take a shot at his head. Well, we got a head hit. I think it was probably a splash hit from an LRM or something. Find out here in a second. Yeah. You know who the threat is. You just make sure you stay in range. Yeah, it looks like it was a splash LRM hit. Orders. Watch, I'm gonna target the. Uh, I'm gonna target this guy, and I bet you it falls over and hits this guy. We'll see. Uh, let's switch to AP. Oh, nice up. hit. Good. That hit something good. I'm actually really shocked at that. Is that everybody? I guess that's everybody. So we got everybody out here on 17, 14, 14. Tiger Tail on 12. Okay. What do they got? Who's are on 22? Yeah, you better back up. You know what's coming for you. Look at the Halopolis standing off there in the background. Ah, I love these bigger maps. Just a slightly bigger, you know? One third bigger. That's it. Just enough so that you got enough maneuvering. In a battlefield like this, it's like you think you're close enough, but... Ah! This guy's being annoying now. You, fucker, being annoying. Okay, I'm on it. Awaiting orders. You, being annoying. Confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. What can I do you Piece for? Ooh, that's pretty darn low. Let's just shoot him. I was gonna try and pull his leg, but I think we're just gonna shoot him. Engage. Oh, a couple leg hits. 
Nice. Have a seat, buddy. Critical hit. We got it anyway. Ah, uh, the wait. Yeah. I couldn't keep my mouth shut the other day. I was looking at an a animation. This guy was doing an animation for a commando. Uh, commando running. And I commented that... Um, and this is the issue I have with a lot of people who do animation. A critical hit. You gotta remember, this thing is 25 tons. It's 25 tons. And when it's running... Right? The hip portion of it is not going to stay level with the ground right it just won't yes you've got a gyro you're going to keep it you know staying direct but it's not it's it just will not be able to stay at that height the entire time it's going to have weight every time it lands on a foot it's landing with 25 tons right so everything is going to just be like coming down like imagine yourself when you're running your whole body is like hitting the ground and now imagine it being 25 tons Right? What can I do for you? That's a lot of weight. So it just kind of dropped. What's this guy back here? Urban Mech, R59, eh? But anyway, that was my comment. So, I mean, I felt bad because the animation is actually quite good. Like, it's actually quite a good animation, right? I, of I often get shocked by how good some animation people, like animators, do. But you have to remember that it's like... The, the weight's there, right? You have to just remember the weight. 30% or we'll take the 30% and fire on this guy. Here, hold this. <laughs> nice. Orders? What do you think, I'm Rusty? Who do you want? Slightly better. 7969. Yeah, slightly better on this guy. That's torso, eh? I have no idea how much... How many hit points this guy's left. I don't think he's taken that much. I'm gonna try and torso him. There we go. Waiting for orders. I could have mucked around with him and... You know... Copy that try to leg him or try to plink his head but like I said I have no idea how much is uh, how much he's got let's go after this torso nope I have no idea how much he's got like hit point wise and stuff so it's just better to take him out of the battle for now Alright, what do we got for initiative here? Oh, Taskmaster. What do you need? Going first. Like gigging like a boss. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeesh. That's actually pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna take this shot. Acknowledge. Nice. Orders? Orders? Hunt the uh, yeah, Centurion, I think. He's the threat now. That Hunchy's not going to be doing anything for a while. I got him. Alright, we still got a lot of people to go before him. Well, not a lot, but... Raiders going... Gonna try and push as close to the getting up out of this water as we can here. Yeah. Yeah. Stay behind here so no one can shoot you. Get over here. We don't have enough to take the leg. Try it for a plink in the head. Here you go. Nope. Oh, he's got an LRM twenty. I'm guessing you didn't like that. Really? 
That's an interesting loadout. I mean, I've seen them with two LRM Thames before, but not with an LRM 20. Light damage. Holding firm. Commander? Let's just walk Holding it up out. here, get our stability back. Good range. Let's do some damage. Not enough. I was hoping we were going to knock him over. Crap. Well, he'll get some stability back now before we hit him again with a piece of artillery. Ooh! What do we lose? Two pulse lasers. Hey, stop knocking out my weapon. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, I knew he was the threat. Nope. Hey, stay in the crosshairs. Receiving you. Let's see if we get lucky. All weapons are good. <laughs> Head destroy. Oh, sorry, he ejected. Never mind. Ah, uh, Commander. Ah, uh, well. Not as funny as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were actually going to hit him. But. I guess firing that item is enough for him to say, nope, I'm done. So, Urban Mech with a mortar. Not much armor left in that location. We know how scary that can be. Who's going first? Who's our? Okay, this guy's going on 17. 24, 19. We got Raider on 20, Skull on 20. So we're going to have to do a uh, offensive push on the Hunchback. Maybe two of them. Alright, Tiger Tail, you've done your job. Standing by. Roger that. Yeah, we're not going to hit much, but we got to do this to knock him back here. Let's go after this torso. Target confirmed. That's actually... Oh my god. Nice shooting. Target neutralized. We actually hit the Hussar with the laser, too. Right here. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's finish this up and go home, guys. Got three mechs Full left. Speed sounds good. Uh -huh. Once we're out of the water, things will be better. Nice shot. Yeah, Jenner's out enough. Ready for orders. All right, Rusty. Bring the attack home here. Firing on target. I wish they made a um, an option to turn off the helicopter sounds. Yeah. Although I guess they could try and find them in the uh, install files and reduce the sound on them or the or the uh, intensity. Ah. Let's just get up here. Confirmed. Get out of the water. Because even if it was like a really soft patter, you know? Okay. I'm on it. I hear ya. Yeah, I was at the urban mech. Systems recycling for another shot. Standing by. Seven points left on the front. Roger. Time for you to back up. Good work. You made two pilots eject. I'm 
Still got lots of back armor. It's a sign of a good pilot. I mean, technically, this is where we're supposed to evac to, but we don't ev we don't evac anymore. Watch my thing. Jesus Christ! Stop shooting them. They're trying to get one kill in on us. That's what it is. Receiving you. Let's get some damage in on this guy now. I don't know what the medium pulse is gone. Ooh. Yeah, get some revenge. Have a seat, buddy. Yeah. And you're gone. There's some payback for you. Aye, aye. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna replace them with. I don't know what what I've got. I mean, we might be able to get some pulse lasers out of this one, but it's not high on my priority need? list. We need sea bills because I spent a hell of a lot of I spent Roger. like almost three million sea bills getting the junk leopard in an extra drop slot. So yeah. So we need uh, sea bills more than anything at this All point. So hopefully we can pick up a couple of XL engines. Otherwise, we're not making our financial report. But I got a bunch of stuff I can sell if I had to. So, ooh, panic level critical. Uh, commander? What do you think, Rusty? You can man, you make them bail? Full speed. No target. Shoot him. Talking on target. Nope. Apparently you're not scary enough. No luck. But this might be. Waiting on you, Commander. This might just be scary enough. You're not gonna like this. Oof, almost hit a vehicle. Stand still while I'm attacking you. Screw off. Took a heart. Ah, oh, you bail, damn it. You're almost out of combat, and you bailed out. Standing by. Well, not much we can do about it. Alrighty. Accuracy. Order. Through volume of fire. Alright, some nice hits there. Yes! Commander! Uh -huh. What's up, Irby? Uh, he's got his bad side to me, but that doesn't matter. I was hoping he would have his mortar side to me, but not much we can do about it. Yep. Now, can you crest the hill? You cannot. Let's move. Almost, though. Orders? Gonna get right up this guy's nose. Double time. That way, if he shoots at me, he probably hit himself, too. And just shoot this guy with both machine guns, everything. Taking the shot. Who do we got left? Oh, what you. Can I do for you? Let's not get some collateral damage by hitting our own guys here. Using the small, eh? Alright. Awaiting orders. Alright, can't get to him. Hauling ass. Everybody's vying for the uh, yeah. kill shot here. Let's see if we can end this fast with some back damage here. 
All right, here it comes. Roger. Oh, man. There it is, folks. Another successful battle against the Eastern Warlord. So this dude shouldn't have too much left now. Unless he's got allies. Uh, what? Forget it, man. Dispute it. Good luck with that. So Hunchback, Enforcer pieces, we can get an Enforcer. Uh, one Ballistic, two Laser Points. Bleh. This is the LRM-20 version of the Hunchback, eh? Four Laser, two Support, one Missile... Don't know. The whole Lancelot's here too. One piece, one piece of the Phoenix Hawk Lamb. I don't think Lancelot's sixty tons. Hmm. That's actually. Let's take that, and then let's see if we got some sea bills down here we can use. Mortar aid, PPC armor. Any XL core or big cores that might do. How much is this? 900,000 is nothing. Um, there is no C bills here. Basic sensors. Standard fusion cores. So these are 800,000 each. They're worth 100 grand when you sell them. HP Vulcan. Zero tons. So what is the... Oh, these are for the uh, lamb. Right. So some of the lambs will carry um, pods under their wings which have multiple things you can shoot off them. Uh, so this one has flares and Vulcan. Some of them have bombs and a variety of other things that you can, or like, ooh, lamp turbine, how much is that worth? 50,000. Um, that you can add and, um, or like there's like wire guided missiles, things like that. They're really, it's pretty interesting. <sighs> we don't have a lot of stuff for sea bills here. It's sad that now if you put a mech together, it's like, and depending on the mech, it's like worthless, right? It's like not worth anything. Uh, we got to take the sea bills. Cavalry attack, helicopter pieces, hunchback, a couple of Jenner parts. The Lancelot, which we already knew. The urban mech part, which we're going to get rid of. Where we can get rid of. AC5. We've got one, don't we? we got two, so we can sell that. I'm going to hold on to the standard armor. 70 core can go. The 110 core can go. You and you. Those guys. That guy can go. Well, um, I don't know if we can actually use this without a lamb. It's not worth much. 1300 eh? I'm going to hold on to the two... How much is this worth? Or if we... Let's just see if we have any of these. You know what? I'm going to hold on to all three of these for now. See what if we have anything else to sell. I'm going to sell some vehicle parts and some mech parts and see if we can get up to our financial report. Alright, let's have a look in the mech bay real quick. I want to see what that Vulcan looks like. So the fire starter, we got to refit. I'm going to put the Clint in storage now because I don't think we need that in comparison to Helopolis. And there might be some stuff on here we can move over. Um, yeah, because I think we're going to be using... We're not going to be using this guy. The Wolfhound will definitely use... 
It's going to be a while before we drop any more units, I think. we got to really stabilize our, our funding here first. So, the Clint, I'll pull out of service. We can always bring it back if we have to. Take that out of service for now. So I'm going into storage. That'll save us a little bit of money after we uh, go ahead and bring this forward here. It's going to take a while to rebuild this guy too. Alright, let's have a look. What, else, what we got enough here for a Jenner? Two Jenners. Um, the K version... ...is the XL and Pharaoh. A... ...is the one we face today. Uh, let's hold off on that for now. Yeah, we'll hold off on that for now. I'm just thinking that we should probably wait till we get, um... We should probably wait till we get, um... A little higher tech. Alright, so... Not too, too bad. We got a lot, oh man. A lot of work on this thing. That's alright, we can do it over time. It's not so bad, I mean, we got the large, let's pull it, let's just pull everything off it for now. Standard heat sinks, eh? How do you run two larges of PPC and a medium with standard heat sinks? I, I don't, I don't understand how that works. Wow. We can't even do this. All right, we'll just leave it for now. You should be able to put this back into storage, but it's kind of annoying. All right, well, we're going to I'm going to fix the fire starter up and figure out where to go from there. Lancelot, we'll have to worry about another time once we get some more sea bills. So I'm going to sell a few things to make our financial report cuz it's almost the end of the month for these guys. Well, we got 10 days. Can I get the fire starter back before that? Um, maybe. I don't think we have pulses available to us, but... Because it's just the arm that needs to be replaced. Lower Omnipod arm. Now, do we have a lower arm? I think we still do have a lower arm. No, we don't. That I can see anyway. Uh, yeah, it's not under here, is it? I thought we had more, but I guess not. Okay, well, sure. Weapon wise, what do we got here? Can fit just about anything. We got four tons left over. Can fit just about anything. So the mag shot cannon is eight tons. So we can't use that. Mag shot we could use. ER mediums. We got ER micro lasers too. They're such short range though. What if we go with it, like Hey, we got so many bolt on tandem rockets, it's crazy. Uh Harpoon launcher. How much is that way? Four tons. Well, if this was a melee mech, I'd say sure, but I think we need to stick with its stick true to its uh, energy build. So maybe we go with an ER medium to give us a bit of range to match up with the uh, large pulse. I mean, it won't match perfectly, but you know, slightly lower. Uh, So what were the heat, what's the heat on this? 12. This is like more than that, right? 15, yeah. We 
We've got to stay within heat range too. That's the problem. Ultralight rotary rifle is two tons. Twenty damage times two. Uh. What if we add standard medium? Heat's dropping already. Well, this is these two equal to two pulse lasers for heat. Then maybe we can go with where is the uh we could put a mag shot in here too somewhere. Like maybe the well, what if we leave the medium out and put the mag shot? Well, the mag shot's only got... It's only got eight rounds though, right? Oh, ten rounds. So that's not bad. We could drop that in. And then we got two tons left over. we have anything for internals that we could put in this thing? We've already got the Bloodhound probe. I mean, nothing really. Yeah, nothing really. Uh, two tons left over. What the heck are you with two tons? I mean, we could put an... We got... We have a half ton of SRM ammo. A half ton of L LRM incendiary. And this is a half ton, right? That's one ton. Oof. See, I don't know now. Tandem rockets. One and a half tons. Tell you what, let's drop one of these guys in for now. And then, got half a ton remaining. We'll drop in another backup weapon like a Magna laser or something. I know it's making us really, really hot here. Actually, what's our core? 270. Do we have a... I don't think we have a double heat sink kit available, do we? No, I wish... I wish. All right. Well, let's leave it like this for now. I mean, we could. We're not using the jump jets. Oh wait, it is a double heat sink kit mech already, right? So we don't have any double heat sinks though. No. I mean. We could do this, this, and this. Keep the jump jets for those, like, in case we need to, like, get out of a position that we don't like to be in. And then drop a second set of tandem rockets and just go for, like, a rocket punch in case we need it, right? Rocket 50. We have bolt-on incendiary rockets. But we could do bolt-on tandem rockets instead. Wait, this is a tandem times three, six ton bolt on. We don't have the weight for that though, do we? No, we don't. That's fine though. Yeah, let's go this route. I mean, I know it's saying it's really hot, but it's because the three rockets are there too, right? It's what, like seven, yeah, an, 18, 20, an extra 25 heat. So we drop 25 off that, the Alpha Strike would then be 63. So it's not that's actually pretty good. And then with that on, we can leave the medium lasers off, a couple of medium lasers off, and just fire everything. Fire all the rockets. Let's go this route. And that'll put this back into play before 
the pilots are back, right. which means we should okay. be able to run one before the end of the month, which means we'll make our financial report and not to sell anything else. Perfect. All right, leaving the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.